hi and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Laura hi hello welcome today we are gonna do the rolling project pan my year-long project for 2022 it is absolutely wild that it's already a new year I feel like it was yesterday that I started panning all of my products in my ditch the discontinued project last year that that was my year long last year this year I am going to focus on trying to get some stuff out of my collection that has kind of just been in lingering for a while. So there's no like theme to my year long project pan this year. Um, it's just items that I feel like I could actually finish up and do really good damage to in terms of like how they look loved and all of that stuff. So I think that I'm just going to structure my year long project pans as like rolling 10 pans now. I do want this to be rolling because I don't think that a lot of these items, and I know a lot of these items, won't last me the whole year. Um, <clears throat> definitely some that are going to last me a long time in this project, but that is the beauty of a year-long project in my opinion. It is like you have some items that might be used up quick and you have some items that might take a long, 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 long time to finish up. So I have my 10 items in front of me. I have a list written down um they're not yet in my project pan notebook because i just I, I have to finish my bullet journal and then put everything in tangent aside um so i have my list of items in front of me i am going to go in like in in a relative order of application so things that go under um like anything that goes like on the base and then up to like accessory cheek products like blush bronzer that kind of stuff and then to eyes and whatnot so without further ado let's just talk about the items that I want to use up and yes all of these items I want to use up this year so there's right now there's no like pan goal um, I want to use everything up and that is my goal so the first item that I want to use up and it's really just I need encouragement to use this because it just kind of sits in like stays in my collection um, and to preface this was an item that influencer sent me for review so I did not purchase this with my own money they had sent it to me for review that is this guy here this is the milk makeup sunshine oil now this is an airless pump so the product is going to go up so we are starting at this line and then we'll hopefully see lines ticking up um, so I am excited about using this actually so this isn't my favorite I don't think it really does anything it has a really nice light citrusy kind of lemon scent um, but I just I I don't really see the purpose of this and I don't personally like this kind of novelty applicator. It's a clicky pen and then it has a, a little ball at the tip here and to me it's just kind of germy to like draw it on your face. So I usually put it on my hand and then apply it on my face but I just want to use this up because I don't like the, the product is fine. I don't like the applicator and I don't like the process of using this. I much prefer, like if I'm gonna use an oil, I much prefer a dropper applicator so I can break everything. So I can put it in my hands and then apply it on my face. My dog's about to. Moving down my list, the next item I want to finish up is a product that I don't like and I just kind of want to get it out of my collection as quick as possible, which I don't think is gonna be a problem. And that is this guy. This is my The Lip Bar Skin Glow Serum. I have mine in the shade Rose All Day. Um, this is just okay. Um, I have it on like my decollete right now. Um, I have another cream highlight underneath my foundation today, but this is just okay. It's not my favorite. It, If I put this on top of foundation, it definitely picks up the foundation, but I can use it underneath my foundation and it's okay. Let me just quick... Ah, I'm all over the place. I feel like I just like, I took a long hiatus from YouTube and now I'm just like, I don't know how to film videos anymore. I'm going to give you guys a quick swatch of the Rose All Day. So it is just a super light. And then it kind of just acts like a sheen under the skin. It's not like anything it's not like anything um, ideally it works best as a standalone product with nothing else on the skin but I am uh, I I haven't used it for that much I haven't had this in my collection for that long I think this came in in September I'll have to like refer to my notes I keep it I keep track of everything that's come into my collection but um, we are already like maybe 
halfway down, like about halfway in this already, and I haven't had it for that long. Granted, when I had it in my, when I first purchased it, I was wearing a lot more tank tops and could kind of slather it everywhere. So we will see how quickly I can use this, but I want to just like put my focus on this because my friend Haley, she had sent me um, a couple cream highlighters and I'm like dying to use those, but I want to knock this out of my collection first before I like give myself the allowance to use the cream shadow or the cream highlights that she gave me even though I am wearing one on today. So the next product is something that Haley had actually gifted me last year um, for Christmas in 2020 and that is this guy here. This is a Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Fenty Glow. It is a beautiful like neutral kind of tone everyday kind of cream blush and I I do still have the cream blush that I was working on last year, but I just want to give myself a break. I want to use this one while, um, I, while I want to, uh, really. I just want to give myself a break from panning a very pink blush. Um, so this is going to be Fenty Glow. I am wearing this under my foundation today. Really nice, neutral, kind of, kind of orangey-ish. Um, but I think actually pairs really well. I'm, I have a lot of blues in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project right now. So I think that that kind of pairs very nicely, um, complementing the blue, like tealy kind of colors with something that's like super warm like that. I think that's going to be really nice, um, as a compliment. And since I put it underneath my foundation, it tends to take some of like the, the color away. So it, it's fine. I'm excited about this. I'm very excited about this. I, um, I was panning another product last year and it like really inhibited me from wanting to dip into the other cream bl cream blush that I had in my collection which is this one so I'm very excited that I'm giving myself the okay to go ahead and use it this year so I didn't really think I should put this in but at the same time I do want to finish it up it's just my oldest concealer it is my it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer in the shade light natural um, there's not too much in here this has 0.3 grams of product or 3.25 grams of product or 0.11 fluid ounces if you however you want to measure it um, and I have used this quite a bit I am wearing it as my concealer today uh, it works really nicely um, so I just want to use this and, and use it up it's my oldest concealer technically in my collection that is a liquid so I'm a little bit more concerned that this is going to go off sooner than my other concealer my other oldest concealer which is a powder concealer so it wouldn't be a Laura project pan if I wasn't panning something from Bare Minerals. So I ended up putting in my Bare Minerals, my oldest foundation by a long shot is this Bare Minerals Golden Medium Original Loose Foundation. Um, I am up here. So I mean, I have a long way to go in this product. However, I think I can do it. I think I can, I can definitely do this. Um, and I'm excited about it. I definitely want to just like kind of get this out of my collection. This is like, this is very, very, very old. Um, but it's a powder product. So in my head, like if I store it right, like it's, they last a much longer time. This doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that, but I'm, I want to give myself the okay to go ahead and just like finish this. Um, one, because I can buy it again. Two, because I don't want it to go off and then irritate my skin. So I do want to focus on this. I am wearing this as my foundation today and I freaking love it. I think it looks just so nice, so natural. It allows some of the cream products that we put on to kind of shine through without being too much. Um, and I think actually these pair really nicely together. Um, the It Cosmetics concealer works really well underneath that foundation. So I'm excited about that. I'm very happy about that. Um, this kind of might seem like a redundant product, but I do want to actually end up finishing my Joa Blurfection um, pressed powder here. I hit pan on this hit late in 2021, um, but I always could see like the imprint or like the press of the rings in the pan. So I can all, I always was able to see the pan or like the rings in the pan. Um, but I, I want to just see how long it takes me to use this up. Now, you might think that it's redundant since we have a powder foundation. Why do we need a setting powder like this? However, so I noticed in the office, um, my new job, um, I sit underneath, like directly underneath, like the, the light in the office. So I find myself getting super shiny, super quickly in the day. And so I want something like this with me so I can just like, 
touch up and like not look like a total grease ball. So I am going to pan two powders. They're not the same functionality. Like obviously one is a powder foundation. One is just a like setting blurring powder. So I do want to finish this guy this year as well. I don't think that this is going to take me that long. There's not that much product in this. Um, now can I, yeah, there's eight grams of product and we already have a pretty substantial pan in this guy. So I don't think that that's going to take me that long to finish. Um, but I do want to just document and see how long it does take me to finish this. The next item I want to finish is this guy. This might be something that's super, super lofty and I might be biting off more than I can chew with this, but this is my physician's formula. Is that right? Physician's formula butter bronzer. Gosh, I like totally drew a blank on the name for a second. Um, this is the butter bronzer in the shade bronzer. I hit pan um, earlier last year, 2021, and we expanded the pan pretty, pretty decently um, throughout 2021. There, it does look like the product itself is almost lifting a teeny tiny like millimeter um, from the pan itself. So this could start crumbling and I'm not sure. I have a brush hair stuck under where that was. Yeah, there was like a brush hair stuck in there. But I am not sure how long this is going to take me. This could totally be something that's like much loftier than I'm thinking it's going to be. But I do want to just see if and what I can do with a like a bronzer this year. I hit pan in two bronzers last year and I was pretty darn excited about that. Um, but I did not finish a bronzer like the year before I finished two bronzers. I think um, they were mini sizes, but still. So I am excited to, to see how I can get along with that bronzer. It's a lovely bronzer. I can use it year round, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I do want to kind of just, it's again, it's a very old product in my collection and I kind of just need to see it out. I have another cheek product that I'm going to be rolling in. And again, it's another Bare Minerals one. I am slowly but surely making my way through all of my loose Bare Minerals blushes. These are by far the oldest um, powder blushes in my collection. So I do want to just continue to focus on these and see what I can do and get them out and everything like that. This is a discontinued shade in the loose blush formula. Uh, I think all of the ones that I have left are discontinued shadows or discontinued shades in the Bare Minerals lines, but that's that's totally fine. I Again, I used to work there, it, so I accumulated a lot of things. Um, this is Lux Radiance. I didn't swatch anything else for you, but I don't think I really needed to. It was like setting powders and stuff. I will swatch this one though. This is called Lux Radiance. It is the lightest one of these loose blushes that I have left. And I think it's the one that's the most versatile so I can use it right now when it's a little cooler and I will be able to use it when it warms up and I get a little bit more color. So it is right there on my hand. It looks a lot more like peachy pink in camera. It is a lot softer and more neutral um, in real life. It's definitely not as glaringly like peach in real life. It definitely is just a little bit softer. Um, again, this will pair with every any and everything. I am not wearing this on my cheeks today. I am actually wearing a couple shadows in my Juvia's Place Deuce palette as my blush today, but I... I'm excited. I really like this color and I'm getting down to the my favorites in my Bare Minerals loose blushes. So I'm like very excited to to use and reach for these. They're the shad they're the shades that I tucked on my shelf and told myself I need to finish the ones that I don't like as much first before we start diving into the ones that I really like. So we are now finally officially diving into the ones that I really truly enjoy the most. If you watched my Ditch the Discontinued last year, you would have seen me trying to get through a lot of my Urban Decay shadows from my Depotted uh, Heavy Metals palette, and this year is not going to be any different. I do want to see some shadows kind of making their way out of my collection, and that Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette is one of the oldest palettes that I have, and I do notice a decline in the shadow formula. So I do want to actually finish up this guy here. This is, again, from the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. This is the shade Maiden. This is a beautiful, everyday kind of shadow. And I wanted to pick something that would be easy to complement any other eyeshadow that I'm working on. So this, this is something that'll complement my subculture palette. That is my Pan That palette. I will link the playlist in the cards. Um, and this will also work with my 
pan those eyeshadows. Again, I will list that in the cards. Um, the videos will be listed in the description box though. So this is um, Maiden by the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. It is just a beautiful, beautiful soft champagne kind of goldy color. I would lean more towards like a champagne kind of color. Again, it will pair with almost anything that I want to pair it with. So I could pair it with like these blue tones that I'm wearing, or I could pair it with like total opposite side of the spectrum and I can pair it with warm tones and things that are more in my subculture, like new wave and edge and fudge. Um, it'll pair really well with anything that I want to wear. And I'm very excited about that. And the very last item, I went back and forth on what I wanted to put in as my last item. And I think I just settled on something that's kind of a give me product but it's something that I want to work out of my out of my collection. And that is this guy. This is the NYX Filler Instinct in Beach Casual. The reason I want to pan this is one, because there's not that much product left in it. It's very, very thin. This is all the way up. Um, two, Haley sent me a care package and it actually had a full brand new one of the same exact shades. And I really, truly enjoy the color. I am wearing it on my lips today on top of a lip liner. Um, but I, I truly enjoy the color. I think it pairs well with almost anything. And again, it will pair well with the blushes that I wanna wear, and then it'll complement the eye look as well. Since it is a little bit more warmy orange tone, it'll complement those teals super, super well in like a complimentary kind of color story way. Um, and I think I could finish this by the first update. So for my goals for this month, I just kind of wanna get a baseline and see where we can go in the first month. I'm gonna give myself the target to use every single item in this project 10 times. Um, but there are two items that I think that I can make like actual goals and see if I can get those. So the first one being the NYX Filler Instinct. I wanna see if I can finish this by the first update. Again, there is not that much product left in this. Um, I did draw this guy. I tried to match the color up and everything. So that is how much product we have left, um, that blank white, space so every month i'm actually going to color in with a new color until we finish it so maybe maybe next month we will have that all colored in and that'll be done that's my my hope my dream my goal for for the first goal of 2021 is to finish this up by next month and i think i can do it i have a full month but we'll see the second goal i want to set is i think i could hit pan in Maiden. I think I could hit pan in this eyeshadow by the next update. Um, I hit pan in eyeshadows fairly quickly, but I am pairing a lot. I am panning all cool tones right now in my pan those eyeshadows. So this would really be something that I want to pair with my subculture palette. So maybe I can like alternate like a couple days a week using my all my blue eyeshadows, a couple days a week using more warm tones in my subculture. Um, but I think I can hit pan in that eyeshadow for the first month. So I want to hit pan in the eyeshadow and I want to finish this up and then everything else I just want to use 10 times at least. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a great start to the new year and I will see you guys in my next video. And until then, stay healthy, sane, and safe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!